Um, just some context for this poem. It doesn't have a title, but the inspiration of the muse was uh, church women who wear hats. And I just went with that and went somewhere with it. So here we go. We are the women, high heels and hallelujah cloaks with a Sunday prayer on our lips and an amen in our smile. We got style for days. But it ain't about the hats we wear. Never was about covering our heads, but about protecting our glory. Stories wrapped in a soup and a little lace over one eye. We could look down the pew on any given Sunday, see all the testimonies with their hands up and worship instead of surrender. And it ain't about the pearls or the swirls or sequins or pastels, not even about the gloves, but the hands underneath covered up Worn down from cleaning floors Monday through Saturday and raising babies who aren't even our own. It's about having the one day to call our own. See this crown? This here hair is freedom. Always has been glory. It's been shaved, tied down, covered up, ridiculed, and even died like us. But it's here, growing anyway. Next time you see my glory waving in the wind, if you listen closely, you just might hear a conversation with God. You see, it's about the soul of a black woman, remembering church bombs and four little girls, and gunshots on nine souls in Charleston, and burning fires our hands can't even count, but somehow we show up on Sunday anyway. We still the women, high heels and hallelujah coats, but these prayers get raised up for change, and these hands still working for change, and this crown still a statement for change, and we still got style for days. And this smile, this one here, this one here, the one you can't see on my face, is still an amen. 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 woman who's been called angry. I've been trying not to be an angry black woman, make sure I smile a little in public. Seems like the understanding is that our facial expressions do not lend to other emotions, that the fear is we stay ready to start a commotion just because. Like there are no reasons to be black, a woman, and angry at the same time. So don't you know on most days I turn my smile into a protest, but the rest is a crooked upwards battle. I've been trying to rise like Maya's dust. Every time there's some bitter twisted lies. Been trying to be black girl magic without a spell to conjure over this hurt, this pain, this rolled up thunder pressed between my ears. I've been trying to sew up invisibility close to drape around my children for protection, only to find out they invisible already without protection. I've been trying to tell my daughters to not be angry, that sass might get you sassed, that kissing the pavement ain't better than going home. They will say you have too much attitude and refuse to see your smile pressing through, the world on your shoulders like the mule you are. They will wonder how you made it anyhow, how somehow they haven't killed you yet, being angry and all. But ain't that the point? That Harriet Tubman had to be an angry black woman. That Sojourner Truth had to be an angry black woman. That Asada Shakur had to be an angry black woman. That Fannie Lou Hamer had to be an angry black woman. That Rosa Parks had to be an angry black woman. That Shirley Chisholm had to be an angry black woman. That Ida B. Wells had to be an angry black woman. That Coretta Scott King had to be an angry black woman. That Betty Shabazz had to be an angry black woman. And ain't that the point? That I have every right to be angry. Angry about our trees cut down and roots left there naked in the sun. About our history being his story one too many times about the corrections to my language when my tongue was already cut out about gentrification, about appropriation about discrimination about bullets spraying like a carnival game on victims with no weapons about the prison industrial complex about being called everything but my name Jezebel, Mammy Ratchet, Angry, Bitch about my education or lack thereof about this reflection someone put in the mirror that ain't my own, I have every right to break the glass, this anger Ain't yours to police, ain't yours to cage up like a bird, ain't yours is the point. I've been trying not to be an angry black woman. Truth is, I ain't trying no more. And you gonna be glad one day. I said you gonna be glad one day. I was angry enough to change the world. Yeah.